session. Okay, so let me share my screen, my whiteboard screen here. We're going to talk about central limit theorem, guys. So what is central limit theorem? Central limit, limit theorem. No? Before we're going to dwell with central limit theorem, let me give you a quick review of what we have covered so far. Um, let's say, for example, we have this distribution of ages. Ages, no? And then um, we have... Let's say, I can't erase it. Hang on a we have theorem. Person one, let's say for example, um, one, and this is their ages. Person two, let's say for example, I have five. Person three, person four, and person five. And then the respective ages, guys, is 10, 12, I have my notes here, 15, 12, and 18. Now, suppose you're going to pick two sample size. So suppose you're going to pick, suppose you're going to pick, uh, suppose you are, you are picking two samples, two samples out of the, out of the ages, no? So there's many possible ways to pick them, sir. This is the scenario. We can pick 10 and 12, right? We can pick 10 and 12. Okay, tag duhaman ka sample size. We can pick 10 and 15. Agree? We can pick, again, 10 and 12. This is when we pair 10 to here. We can also pick 10 and 18. Sako? And also, we can have 12, 15. Kani, ukani. We can also have 12 and 12. So that's going to be 12, 12. 12 and 18. So 12 and 18. We can have 15 and 12. 15, 12. And 15 and 18. 15 and 18. And then we can have also, lastly, 12, 18, 12, 18. There you go. Now, let's take a look at the averages of each sample. So, pila may average ani? So, pila average ani? Um, based on my notes, I have 11 here. So, um, na ako pagbutang, ha? Let's say, for example, no, kanisha kay mga X ni. And then, this is X. Prime, ana. Ayun, sa na siya. Hindi ko mag-bar, ano lang. Mga x's ni, kanik kay x prime, meaning to say, ang, ang, ang mean. Kung saan mean sa 10 and 12? How to get the mean of 10 and 12? You add these two numbers and you divide it by 2. You would get 11. Sakto? Um, this one, you will get 12.5. This one, you would get 11. Kanisha, you would get 14. And you would get 13.5. Tama? And then this one said here, you would get 12 here. This you would get 10. Sakta ba 10? Ah, no. 12 plus 18, 30 day na. Divided by 2, 15. 12 plus 15, that's 27. Divided by 2, that's 13.5. 13.5. 15 plus 18, that's 30, no, 43. Divided by 2, 16.5. 33, 16.5. 12 plus 18, that's also 15. So I hope, guys, na gets niyo yun sa pagkuha ang mga, ang mga values, ha? Kanang kanang naka-black na font, but I hope na gets niyo yun sa sila pag-solve. Let me... Wala na question yun sa pag-solve? Kaya basag ka ng galibog ba? Well, any question, guys? I get stressed again. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna take it as, as a yes, hang and a kasabot talaga yung sa pagkuha ang mga numbers nga, <laughs> mga numbers nga na as a black fonts. Okay. 
Now, if we're going to construct a probability distribution with the ages or the means of the sample, okay, mga samples many sila, di ba? And then these are the means of the sample. So let's construct a probability distribution. Distribution. No? Sige. We have the X. Na atay, um, Osaka 11. Na atay 12. Wala tay 13, no? Pero na atay 13.5. Not a 14, not a 14. Not a 14.5. Well, not a 14.5. How about 15? Not a 15. And then not a 15. No. Well, not a 15.5, but not a 16.5. Tama? Okay, wala, 11, 12, 12. Oi, wala nga. Na 12.5 di ay, sorry. Na 12.5, my bad. So ako ni Iswag. Not a 12.5. 12.5, tapos 13.5, 14, 15, and then 16.5. Where did I get these numbers, guys? Ako rin gitan ako kung naaba sila diri ba? Kaning mga numbers, kaning mga means sa samples. Sample means. Okay, now let's take a look at the probability distribution of each sample mean. So, what is it? Mga means. Pila ka book 11. 1, 2, 2. 2 out of pila mani ka book tanan. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So, that's going to be 2 out of 10. Pila ka book 12. O Sara. 1 out of 10. 12.5. O sad, sad, 1 out of 10. 13.5, doha. 2 out of 10. 14, we have 1 out of 10. 15, we have 2 out of 10. And then 16, we have 1 out of 10. So, so the requirement, guys, for a probability distribution, dapat ang sum sa tanang probabilities or probability values should be equal to 1, okay? And then each probability value should be within the interval nga, 0, 1, inclusive, which means to say that includes 1 and 0. So if we're going to take a look at the numbers here, so probability numbers, scanning 2, 10, 1, 10, 1 over 10, so these are all within this interval, right? And if we're going to add all these numbers, 2 plus 1, 3 plus 1, 4 plus 2, 6, plus 1, 7, plus 2, 8, 9, plus 1, 10. 10 over 10 is equal to 1. So basically, this is an example of probability distribution. Now, let's try to find out what is the expected value of this probability. When we say the expected value, this is the mean of the probability distribution. Do you still remember how to solve for the mean? You just have to take the summation or the sum of each product of each mean by its corresponding probability. So that's going to be 11 times 2 out of 10 plus 12 times 1 out of 10 plus 12.5 times 1 out of 10 plus 13.5 times 2 out of 10, right? plus dot, 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 plus until such time maabot ka ani. 16.5 times 1, 1, sorry, out of 10. If you're going to simplify this, all of this, we'll get an answer of 13.4. So in other words, this is the expected value of all the means with the probability distribution. And that's going to be the, the, the means of the sample mean. Next. Um, now, remember mo guys nga, di ba, we computed something before nga nag-equal siya sa population mean. Remember, this is the population, di ba? Money ang population, entire population, that's a population. And then this, these things here are the sample sizes. So that's are actually, the, those, those, those values are coming from, from the population, which is a sample. And this is the population. So the populations are 
10, 12, 15, 12, 18. And this sample, guys, kay tagduha ani nilang out of population. So, mo nang tagduha, duha ka abuok. Naka remember mo nga, when we compute the, the, the expected value, it became equal to the population mean. So let's take a look at the population mean. So the population elements are 10, 12, 15, 12, and 18. So I'm going to take um, the population mean. Diba mo ni ang notation sa population mean? So sa itong mga values sa population, uh, 10, 10, 12, plus 15, plus 12, plus 18, divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5. You would get an answer of 13.4. So, unsay pasabot ani guys? What does it mean? What do you think? What do you think? Ngano nag-equal na sila, sir? What happened? Where's our chat box? The reason is, the more sample ng imong kwaon in the population, the more it is normally distributed from the population. So if your sample size is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, na ay kong chances nga ma-equal na siya o ma-approximate siya sa population mean. Eh, dili man necessary na ba? Remember mo nga, dili necessary nga ang sample mean will be equal to the population mean. But the more you get a sample size, magkadaghan, the more you increase your sample size, ang yahang sample mean mo approximate equal to the population mean. Numerically. So morning sometimes natin kita wag a standard error. Kaya na may mga chances nga dili sila equal. So this is the whole scenario of expected value for the probability distribution as well as the population. And that's how we do this before. Diba mo na tong cover before. Now, let me share you um, a, 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 a technical way of understanding things. Now, let's say for example, nga, kong kuan ha, this is a probability distribution. Now, for example, kana. And then this is the mean and let's say the mean here is sorry, dapat center ng mean. Let's say three, and um, this is one here, one, and this is five here. Para ang distance from the mean to five is two, and one to three is two units. Now, um, if I'm going to take four, uh, na? four different samples, four different samples, huh? Four different samples. So, kana sample one, I can have one, one, um, three, five. Or then sample two, I would have one, three, three, five. Na gikan na dira ba? Gikan na tollo. Sample three, I can have two. Ano? Wala may two dira. Um, ah, sige. Patangal na tayo ng two. Yeah, kana four na lang po ana. Sige. Kana, pwede na possible. Pwede na. One, two, three, four. Upat, upat, raka items pa. And then, sana, <coughs> four. Pila pa na. Pwede ma, pwede, sa may possible, unsa, uh, possible combination. Two, three, four, four. Pwede ma, mabalik ang four. Now, guys, take a look at the mean of each sample. Take a look at the mean of each sample. Pila ang mean and ang first event or first sample size. So 1 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 divided by 4. That's going to be 2.5. 2.5. Kani? Uh, 1 plus 3 plus 3 plus 5 divided by 4. That's 3. Uh, what else? 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 divided by 4. That's... 2.5. And then lastly, 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4. That's 13 divided by 2. Pila na? 6.5. Sige, puna na to. S5. Upat lang hapon ka element. So, saman. 1, 5, 2, 2. Okay. 
So once I mean ana, 1 plus 5 plus 2 plus 2 divided by 4. 2.5. Now, aha. Sige. Let's try to make uh, make uh, uh, an illustration ani nga koan. Ana nga, 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 nga koan. So our, sorry. Our, our, our situation here is um, we have, let's say, 2.5 here. Ni. This is 3. Uh, what else? This is 6.5. So, see, S1, guys, is 2.5. So, no? See, S2, S2 is 3. So, no? See, S, um, see, S3 is 2.5, na siya dari. See, S4 is, is that 6.5? 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 4 divided by 4. Ay, sorry, sayo, Denny. Dapat 3.25, Denny, guys. Kaya dako ba yung 6.5? So, 3 plus 4 plus 4 plus 2 divided by 4. CS4 kay na asamor ng 3.25 asama na somewhere here kana kana ya pero mas mas um kana kana labaw labaw gamay ana and then si S5 S5 kay na ani na ani 2.5 so if you notice si S1 si S3 and S5 are just Equal, tag 2.5 sila. So, ako siyang iusa, ha? So, si S1, S3, S5, naasa 2.5. Kana. Tapos, si S2, kay naasa 3. S2, ano? S2. And then, si S4, kay naasa 3.25. Labaw-labaw gamay. Now, dili kayo niya makita nga difference, guys. But the idea, mga good, is... S4. The more you get, um, lima rame ni kabuok no, lima rame ni kabuok sample sizes, nga tag upat upat kabuok elements. I know nga mga kuha ga pong tag another four elements out of these five. From this illustration, nga this is, di ba, dili mani normal. This is not, not, not a normal, not a normal distribution. Dili man a normal distribution, di ba? Makaramember mo sa shapes sa normal distribution, di ba? Ana, ana, man dapat, di ba? Now, the idea is, the more you get a sample size from a population which is not a normal distribution, ang imong mga means and a guys, ang imong mga means and a guys, kung magkadaghan pa ni siya, mapurma na siya ng ani guys. Maginana na siya. The more mag-add ka means, ang imuhang means of the probability or the distribution of your sample means, ma-approximate siya, approximate siya into being normal. Pasabot an ang essential limit theorem, guys. Pasabot sa essential limit theorem is the more the more sample you get from a non-normal when you say non-normal, non-normally distributed population, non-normal population the sample means will will approximate approximate to being normally distributed distributed no so that's the idea of the essential limit theorem now, the more sample you get from a non-normal population, the sample means, dili, pasabot, ang mean ng word, dili na siya kanang, kanang pasabot ha. Sample means, like, the average ba? Or sample means, or average, ako nabot ang average. The sample means or average will approximate to being normally distributed. Let me show you like an actual kanang simul, simulations pa on how, how it is done when it comes to like... Um, Example of non-normal, that's, that's a good question. Can, 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 any, any, any mess up na distribution? Um, when you say non-normally, uh, non-normal distributed um, population or uh, distribution, any mess up or anything that is uh, inside the population, 
that would be considered as non-normal. Anything a katag siya ba? No, there's no pattern and then the values are non-normally distributed. When we say non-normally distributed, the distance of each values from the mean are not equal. Okay? So let me share you um, here. No? Tanawa, guys, uh, I hope you can see this screen here. So for example, no? Uh, sige. If you notice, let's say, for example, this is a population. And if you notice, this is not normally distributed. Meaning to say, the level of each item are not equal. When the level of each item is not equal. So, kaning item here is close to zero. Kaning item here is close to the highest point. Kaning item here is close to, or is the highest point of the distribution. So, if you notice, this is not normal. Meaning to say, they don't have, like, like their, their, how you call this? The lens or the values of the populations, population members, are not um, technically equal to a normal distribution. When, it's, when it comes to a normal distribution, guys, dapat katumang curve ang perma. Dapat curve man. Oh, ha? So this is not normally distributed, no. And then you see this sample. You see this sample. I'm going to take like 10 taa. Let's say tag 5 lang sa nga sample. No, tag 5 lang sa. Money hang illustration. So this is like, an, uh, we call it uniform distribution. Equal sila. So from here, maporma tagin ani. No, kung five lang kabuok. If mag-algog more five, mun ani siya, mag-algog another five. Tanawa ang, 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 ang behavior. Five, 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 five. Tagahano na kung five. Tanawa on sa may tabo sa animation. See? Nakita niyo ang difference? So from a mess up nga distribution from the population, I pick several five elements of sample size. The more daghan ako ang tag five nga elements, guys, the more ang distribution becomes normally distributed. Na, naka, naka gets mo sa akong pasabot? <laughs> na gets mo sa, 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 na, sa, sa, na. Sa, 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 sa presentation. If I'm going to pick 10,000 items, I mean to say 10,000 elements for a sample size, look at the distribution from, from the black one to the blue one. Now, ha? Look, padakan ba ginagawa? Tawa, kung say poor money, di ba it's the bell shape na? Ako ba siya mo 100,000? See? Di ba it's already the bell shape na? So basically, guys, the central limit theorem says nga, no matter how your population or pe population behave, iyang mga data, bisa unsa pa na siya kakatag, bisa lahi-lahi pa na sila o kanang, kanang characteristics, lahi-lahi pa na siya o like elements or bisa lagyo pa na sila distance sa each other or from the, from the mean or from the average. Every time you pick a sample, the more you get sample, successive ba, hey, daghanon ni mo ang sample, the more you get a sample size, sige ka kuhag sample size, your sample would become a normally distributed Nga situation. And that's what it tells us when it comes to essential limit theorem. Later on, I'll give you the formula for the essential limit theorem. It will be used when we're going to do hypothesis testing. Okay? So, do you have questions for normal, uh, for, for essential limit theorem? It's just actually a concept, guys. No actual computations. Do you have questions? None so far, Siki. One moment. Um, where is my... Let me check my, my, my previous notes. Um, CDU files. Okay, here. Um, I'm going to stop sharing. I'm going to share my PowerPoint presentation. Close. 
and this is going to be F5. Okay, share. All right, so um, this is now what we're going to cover for today, guys. Inferential statistics, this is the second part of um, statistics and probability. And the central limiting will be used in doing this process here. So hypothesis testing, these are the, I did not update the reference, guys. I should be including the, the books that you have bought, but most of the examples are coming from that same book. <laughs> So here, um, hypothesis testing, we're going to discuss how to do hypothesis testing. There are different hypothesis tests in, 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 in statistics, guys. And this is going to be used when you're going to um, do your research paper or your 3IS for a grade 12 second semester. So what is hypothesis testing? I don't believe I can proceed. Why am I not able to proceed? Wait, aha. Ah, okay. So um, here are the examples that we can try to try to consider. I just read something on newspaper that overall mean score for the achievement test is a 910. So this is a principle, guys. Na di ba naman achievement test and then compare among the schools how they perform or how the students perform. In, in an achievement test. And you have, if I'm not mistaken, you have your NOT or NSAT, NAT or NSAT, or I don't know, NEAT, or tawag ninyo ana. Now, the question here is, do you think um, the principal is like, can claim na, um, okay, Iahang achievement test score for his school is 960. Do you think nga he can say that his school performs better than other school? What do you think? Let me check our chat box. What do you think, guys? There's more questions. So what do you mean by there's more questions, Ricardo? <laughs> so the question is, um, sige, nakabasa ko sa newspaper ng overall mean score for the achievement test is 910. However, my school got 960. Would you agree with me that my school bested all other schools? Why do you say so, Alyssa? Why do you say so? Nga? We, we cannot say nga, it's it's it's... We cannot conclude that, sir. Mr. Principal, I beg to disagree. Very good. They bested the mean, not other school. Very good. Mean score. Very good. Not all other schools. You're above average, but you're not the best. <laughs> harsh, Angela. But that's the harsh truth, guys. You are getting the average mean which is above the average of the all uh, of the of the score however it doesn't mean that you bested all other schools that's the same thing with your average when it comes to your grades guys someone might have a higher average than you or a lesser average than you but that doesn't mean that that person when he has a larger average he bested all of the students in your class it just so happened that he got an average which is above of most of you. Clear? Good answer. CK. Here are the following examples that we can uh, answer using hypothesis testing. Is the earth warming up? We cannot say yes or no, not unless there is a research done. Well, we can say based on our subjective per perception, based on what, what, what we feel. It's summer, but that doesn't the, the case. It has to be proven. It has to be, there should be an evidence uh, for that. Next, will this new medicine lower blood pressure or no? That's, that's a good question. What do you think? We cannot say that unless there is a research done and inferential statistics will be used to do that. 
um, is a new teaching style better than the traditional teaching? When we say teaching style is what we are doing right now. Is this better compared to face-to-face -face, um, model or face-to-face -face teaching? We can't say because uh, this is new to us, right? Some may say it's effective. Some may say it, it, it's a little effective. Next, would you see, uh, would seat belts will reduce the severity of injuries caused by the accidents? It depends still, we cannot say yes or no unless there is an evidence. And evidence, guys, will be actually presented using hypothesis testing. And these are three methods to do hypothesis testing. First, uh, the traditional method. Second, the p-value method. The third is the conf confidence interval method. I'm going to be focusing on the first two methods, the traditional and the p-value method, okay? Because confidence, uh, confidence interval method will be discussed cover in college. Guys, how, how is the animation? Is it laggy on your end? Is it laggy? Is it laggy, laggy on your end? Mulag siya sa nyohang end. Yeah, hindi. <laughs> I might have to, I might have to, to, kuan, I might have to, like, kanang edit this, uh, removing all the animations. Okay, so here is hypothesis testing. What do you mean by hypothesis testing? Hypothesis testing, guys, is a decision-making process for evaluating claims about the population. When you say a decision-making process, it's not just, guys, I don't have, I can see the clock on my, on my laptop. Please let me know if happy on time, huh? Um, it's a step-by-step -step process. It's not a process na voila, na ng answer. So it has to go, it has to undergo a lot of steps, not a lot of steps, but five steps to be exact, but it can be shorter. Different steps or five steps to, to complete the, the evaluating or evaluation of the uh, claims about the population. Okay, ngano man, nganong dapat evaluate man guys using hypothesis testing? Let's say for example, mga na ako nga, Sa Black D, ma'am, no, mag, mag, say, mag-shake-shake kami mga teachers about these students kaya nga. Ma'am, sa Black D, no, kay mga arang-arangan o ka ng pangutok ang, I mean, di ni mangot ka ng like, something ha, pero sa Black D, ma'am, no, kay mga kabaw-kabaw ang mga sadyanti nga to. That's a claim from the population. Kay ang entire population, ang Black, ang black D man, inyo hamang Black. Now, um, how to prove that? How to evaluate if that's really true? So we are going to do hypothesis testing. And to do that, we're going to pick a sample size from the population. And the more we pick the sample size, the more the sample size becomes normally distributed. Or even apply na ang central limit theorem. <laughs> Next, we have the null hypothesis and we have the alternative hypothesis. The null hypothesis guy states that there is no difference between the parameter and a specific value. When we say parameter, these are numeric observations or values from the population. When we say a specific value, this is what we call statistic without an S. Statistic, these are values represent coming from the sample size. So when you see the katoganing, for example, na mag-annotate ko ha, sa population, these are uh, parameter, kana, kana, and kana. This is the population mean, uh, the variance, and the standard deviation. These are what we call parameters. The specific value, guys, is what we call statistic, and these are the symbol. This is the sample mean, the sample variance, and the sample standard deviation, okay? So the null hypothesis says that wala daw kalahian ang population o sample. So if muna ako sa going back sa example na ito ganiha, uh, 11D, nga, di ba itong claim kay kanang arang-arangan o panang intelligence ang Black D, and then muna ako, so wala ka parahi answer. So in other words, tinuod yun di ay nga arang-arangan o kanang kuan. Tinuod yun di ay nga kanang somehow uh, people or most of the people in Black D are, are intelligent. That's when you say nga wala yung difference. Kay same man. Now, the second Hypothesis statement is what we call the alternative hypothesis statement. And that's going to be stating that, let me, stating that there is a difference between a parameter and a specific value. So going back to example, when we say block D, 
uh, is has 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 a good or has a good level of intelligence. Most of you guys, and then would say, "Na ay difference sa sample sir, na kalahi answer." So it could be the kalahi an is maybe mas bright to ang sample size, or maybe dili ka ay to bright ang nakuha ng sample size. Duha man akabuok ang magawas ana. And if there is a difference, there is another test to be done if you want to determine asa ang mas better. But it's going to be a different a, a different test or hypothesis test to be used if you want to check, compare two different means. Okay? So that's the whole idea when it comes to null hypothesis and alternative hypothesis. And I'm going to send a copy of this one as well. Um, of this paper, I mean, of this PowerPoint presentation. Now, let's have this question, guys. I made sure these questions that I have or these examples that I have, guys, is um, related to your field because you want to be a doctor or someone who is going to study medical field or sciences. So let's read the problem. A medical researcher is interested in finding out whether a new medication will have any undesirable side effects. The researcher is particularly concerned with the pulse rate of the patient who take the medication. Will the pulse rate increase, decrease, or remain unchanged after a patient takes the medication? Now, since the researcher knows that the mean pulse rate for the population under study is 82 beats per minute, what should be the hypotheses for this situation? I'll repeat, the null hypothesis, hypothesis, it's singular, the null hypothesis is going to be saying that there is no difference between the parameter or the, the, the population mean and the sample mean, no difference. The alternative hypothesis would say that there is a difference. So how would you state the null hypothesis in this case here? Let me hear from, 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 other, uh, from, from you guys, I wanna hear what do you think would be your null hypothesis in this case here? 11.23. I'll repeat, ha? Huh? I'll repeat. The null hypothesis would tell us or would state that there is no difference between a parameter or a population parameter and a specific value or a statistic. There's no relationship between medication and the pulse rate of the pain. That's a good point, but um, we are still in the we are we are still in a type of hypothesis testing, Angela, where we are checking if there is a difference between the population mean and the sample mean. We are not in the level of checking if there is a relationship. That's too advanced. <laughs> So there is a difference when we say relationship and there's a difference when we say there's a difference. So the, the, the idea of checking the relationship, that's going to be another hypothesis test that of course we're going to discuss later on. Depends on the effects of the med. Technically it would, but how would you, how would you state the hypotheses, both the null and the alternative? <laughs> so here, I'm gonna show you there. There's no difference. What do we mean there's no difference? Equal. Right? Do you agree? Right, right? Do you agree with the null hypothesis that you see there on the screen? It means to say it's equal. <laughs> So in other words, the, the, the parameter, the parameter is just equal to the 82 beats per minute. That's the average. Next. So what will be, I'm gonna show you. The alternative hypothesis, guys, is not equal to. Now, there are three choices for you to state the null hypothesis, no, the alternative hypothesis. It's either, is this greater than? Is this greater than? No. This is less than, right? 
This is less than, right, using your left hand. And this is greater than using your right hand and the not equal to. So you have three options for the alternative hypothesis. Okay, um, either less than, greater than, or not equal to. When to use either less than, greater than, or not equal to? When to use it, sir? You have to check your understanding in the problem. So the level of comprehension in this reading process case should be, we should level it up, the reading comprehension. Where is, where in the statement or where in the problem, in the paragraph, that would give us the idea that we are going to use the not equal to for the alternative hypothesis? Which part of the sentence or which part of the paragraph? Katolong boko boko. 1127. Very good, Angela. That's good. Second, I think you mean to say the third sentence, Ken. It says, will the pulse rate increase, decrease, or remain unchanged after the patient takes the medication? So that, that statement, guys, would tell us, ah, oh, okay, for the alternative hypothesis, we should be working on the not equal to symbol, not the less than, not the greater than. Okay, so guys, you have to be very care careful in, in, in reading the, the statement um, in each part of the statement para magkuhan ninyo yung, yung hypothesis. Or you can also write this in sentence form, guys. Ha? Sentence form. You can do this. The alternative is there is no difference between the means, pasabot ani, ang means of population, ang means of sample size are totally not different. I mean, they say they are equal. The alternative hypothesis, you can say, Yes, there is a difference between the two means or the means. So either, any guys, you can choose either methods in either words or in just in mathematical expression. Question so far? Wala? I hope so, wala. <laughs> okay. Guys, this is what I, this is also what I don't, not really I don't like, but kind of, it's too wordy. Here, let's have that example. A chemist invents an additive to increase the life on an automobile battery. If the mean lifetime of the automobile battery without additive is 36 months, then what should be the hypothesis? Let's practice. What's your null hypothesis? Nakoyawan ko dahil wala na recording na recording diyan. Anyone? Very good. The population is equal to uh, no. The population mean is equal to thirty six. Awesome. Good job. Let me check. Very good. And what's our alternative hypothesis? Good job, Simon, 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 Alisa, and Ricardo. Not equal to 36? Sure, Angela. Try to read the problem. Try to read the statement again. Greater than. Good job, Mateo. Who's Mateo, guys? You say Mateo Garden. No, I'm Mateo Garden. I Harden. Okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, very good. Good answer. Um, Ken, greater than uh, Hardin. Very good. Greater than. Good, good, good. <laughs> All right, that's okay. So here, very good. Perfect. Or we can say the, the, this, this answer in statement forms. There. So oh, now we can say uh, there's no difference between the means. And then the alternative hypothesis, the mean is greater than 36 months. 
Easy, di ba? Na gets na, nakuha na ang process. And Angela, where did we get the idea that we have to use the greater than instead of not equal to that you have answered earlier? Can you locate that in the part of the sentence? Very good. Increase. So a chemist, a chemist, in, a chemist, a chemist invents an added, additive to increase the lifetime of an automobile. Very good. Next, how about this one here? A contractor wishes to lower heating bills by using a special type of insulation in houses. If the average of the monthly heating bills is 3,978, his hypotheses about the heating, co heating costs with the use of the insulation are. So what's our null hypothesis? Very good. That's a null hypothesis. Awesome. And what's our alternative hypothesis? Less than. Very good. Good job, Ricardo. Less than. Why do you use less than? Lower heating bills. Very good. Uh, perfect. That is the exam, guys. No? So here. So your alternative hypothesis is equal to 3,978, and your alternative hypothesis is the mean, the population mean is less than 3,978. Or you can say this in this statement. Uh, there is no difference between the means and the mean, or the alternative hypothesis, the mean is less than 3,000. So you have the guys, typo error na siya. It should be 3,978. So typo error na guys, be careful. <laughs> So, maka answer na ito sa quiz, if ever mag quiz. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. The null and alternative hypotheses are stated together, and the null hypothesis contains the equal signs. K represents a specified number. So, here are your um, um, scenarios that you can actually use. We do two tailed tests if we use the uh, alternative hypothesis with not equal to, okay? We do the right-tailed test if we do greater than. We do the left-tailed test if we do less than. So uh, just be familiar. You don't have to memorize this, but just be familiar with these concepts. Here are your bell shape or normal distribution. So... Mona Nisha, guys, an application sa standard normal distribution. It's the hypothesis testing and as well as the central limit theorem. Central limit theorem says that the more, the more sample size that you get from your population, the sample becomes or will approximate to normal, being normally distributed. Okay? So here, um, be careful, ha? Huh? No, not be careful, but just be, be familiar with these things here. Two tailed, of course, we are considering the two tails of the normal distribution. One tail, right tailed, the right tailed only. Left tailed test, the left tail only. Okay? So, next. These are the common phrases nga muhatag ninyo o clues when to use the less than, greater than, not equal to. Sige. Be, kanang familiarize yourselves with these lines. Greater than, is above, is higher than, longer than, bigger than, increased, is equal to, is the same as, has not changed from, is the same as, um, is less than, is below, the, is lower than, is shorter than, is smaller than, is decreased or reduced from, uh, not equal to, is not equal to, is different from, has changed from, is not the same as. So one of the phrases, guys, that would help you out to, to tell or to want to you what, what type of symbol to use for your alternative hypothesis. Okay. Question so far? What are questions so far? Okay. Uses a statistical test, guys. This uses the data obtained from a sample 
to make a decision about whether the null hypothesis should be rejected. So basically, guys, the null hypothesis is the basis of your decision making. Okay, it's either you reject the null hypothesis or you accept the null hypothesis. When you reject the null hypothesis, you mean to say that your um, alternative hypothesis is true. When you reject your null hypothesis, this means to say that your alternative hypothesis is yeah, true. When you accept your null hypothesis, this means to say that your alternative hypothesis is false. Nuggets, I'll repeat, huh? When null is true, or when null is accepted, alternative is false. When null is rejected, alternative is true. Hanasha. So four possible outcomes for hypothesis testing situations. And this would, uh, this would actually come out the type one and type two error. So what is type? It cannot be, Angela. It has to be one of them. It has to, one of them should be false and one is true. Okay. So um, what are the examples of type two errors and type one errors? Okay, here. Um, Kani ganing first, kaning kaning red, kaning red nga type one error, guys. You notice the null hypothesis is true, but you rejected it. Why in the first place you rejected it? That's type one error. When in fact that's true. Type two error is when your null hypothesis is false, but you accepted it. Why in the first place you accept something that is false? Sir, nadawat na ako, did you go, did you ganahan ako, charot. But that's the whole idea, guys. Why would you accept something that's already, that's, that's false? That's type two error. And here are the examples that you can actually think of. Let's say that the medication might not be significantly changed the post rate of all the users in the population, but it might change the rate by chance or due to some errors of subjects in the sample, then the, reject, uh, the researcher will reject the null hypothesis when it's really true. So, unsay pasabot ani guys? Sige, imong null hypothesis ani is the mean, uh, the, the mean of the sample and the population are equal. Tama? Next, among alternative hypothesis is they are not equal. There's a difference. Now, the problem here, guys, is that there is an error during the sample testing, some sort of error by any chance, right? There's an error. Supposedly, you need to accept the null hypothesis because error man ang result as a sample, na may error nga nagkuan sila. Nag, 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 nag equal sila. But you reject the null hypothesis. And that's going to be a type one error. Another example, no? I'm going to give you another example. Said, huh? um, here. Honey. In the court, guys, kama mo sa ng court, no? Kana ganyan mag, 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 sa na paglilites sa court. Anong trial ba? Namanay victim ug suspect. Sakto na victim and suspect. Na ba? Yeah, I think so. Namanay victim and suspect. No? <laughs> People choose to accept the lie more. <laughs> uh, di ba, sa, sa, type one, sa type one error, guys, is, for example, ang suspect, it's true nga suspect siya. Siya yun, ang, siya yun naghimo sa, 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 sa murder. However, the judge or the, the jury decided to reject na it's true nga siya ang suspect. That's type 1 error. And one of the factors nga nung naka-decide ang jury nga dili siya ang, 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 ang the murder, it's because of maybe the evidence. Maybe the evidence is not strong enough to support nga he is really the suspect. But we know but katong tao nga naghimo, kakabaw siya siya ang suspect. It just so happened na kadaog siya because of the, 
of the evidence nga dili strong and support that's injustice very good and that's an error right that's an error next next we are still going to be using the, the suspect and the uh, and the trial court na situation dili siya ang suspect dili siya ang suspect no dili siya ang suspect so false siya nga accused however the jury still accused him of doing the murder even though he is not the suspect suspect with with um, with integrity it just so happened that the evidence against him is very strong and that's still injustice and that's still an error so that's the whole idea of type one error and type two error okay so i hope you get the gist of it now no <laughs> i hope you get the gist of it wait let me check one more thing right there. Ako rin gisunod ang kuan guys. Ako rin gisunod ang 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 naasa ang naaga ni sa sa ansa ni sa sa ansa na sa naasa picture <laughs> kina anak man siya. So question so far for 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 sana for type 1 error and type 2 error. Let me know if you have any questions. Where's our chat back? A chat, 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 chat box. Mm, the what, Leggy? Uh, Alt H. Guys, I can see your chat. You're chatting here. That's a good question. Again, remember, Angela, this is a step by this is a, a step by step process of making a decision. Yes. So we are still we, we have not yet completed the entire process yet. Relax lang. <laughs> Relax Santa no. <laughs> All right. Okay, now Angela. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about level of significance. These two things that I'm talking about, guys, statement of the hypothesis, um, uh, statistic, type one, type two error. These are the steps or these are the things that we need to consider in doing the step-by-step the -step process before we do the uh, decision-making. Which one, which, which one to accept, which one to reject, when it's false, when it's true, okay? So level of significance, guys, is maximum probability of committing a type one error this is a probability that symbolizes by alpha greek letter and that is e probably the type one error is equal to alpha guys why do we need to have a level of significance in every testing when good guys when you do try to imagine good you want to create a vaccine for for a particular disease and guys by the way i have a i have read something in in in, in Twitter, I, I hope you guys mag, mag stay sa most I, I stay mag stay sa good Twitter for 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 like mga thirty minutes or an hour. Mag still scroll scroll lang. Muna fleets. I read something, guys. Nga, um, I think it was Pfizer. Nga, I'm not sure if it's Pfizer. I don't know. I forgot the 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 the, the manufacturer, but they were able to create a vaccine that would fight against HIV, and that's ninety five percent efficacy. And I, 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 I was like overwhelmed. Okay? I have a lot of friends, my good, who lost their lives because of HIV, and it is so sad. Um, it's not accidentally found. They, 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 the, the creation of uh, HIV uh, medicine or cure or vaccine are still are still in the process, guys. It just so happened uh, they tried to recreate like the same pattern sa COVID nga nga. DNA pattern. They tried to like replicate it. I don't know what they did to be specific, but they were able to like test it for a few people, and then it came out na na ay ninety five percent efficacy rate. Oh, di ba? That's a good step, na guys. Kita tao tao de ba ng tao tao de ba ng HIV ng wala pa itambal, guys. 
So yeah, and then it's it's really guys. I I saw I, I witnessed a lot of friends nga who suffered from from it. Kanang kanaging luoy na juk ka ayon. Then gasta maluoy ka na. Then kan magunod ako mga why this? Ganon na hitabo mani sila. Ganon na hitabo mani nila o yun. Something like that. And then I'm one of those th- people bang kanang who who like kanang advocate nga to stop stigma when it comes to HIV. It's not it's it's not it doesn't need to be discriminated kung nakai HIV. Um, this is a rumor. <laughs> this is a rumor. It's 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 from I forgot. So I'm gonna check back on my Twitter. I'm gonna screenshot. It. I'm gonna send it to you guys. All right, that's the whole idea, guys. So the idea of level of significance, guys, is again uh, going back the vaccine. For example, you're creating a vaccine for a particular disease. Of course, your vaccine will not be complete, like 100% accurate, 100% effective. You, as a researcher, will provide or will set an error of Uh, con or an error or like um, something like we call this I forgot the exact term. a maximum error minimum error nga commit ni mo and that's a level of significance for example in 100% ni mo nga research no assuming nga 100% ba perfect ni mo research you would allow yourself 5% error or mistake and that's a level of significance when it comes to health related research guys health let's say example For example, kanang especially kanang yung ipa intake, tambal, vaccine, what else? Kanang everything ay kanang gamitin sa tao, ibutang sa skin, ibutang sa mata, ito sulok sa dunggan, ito sulok sa lobo, ito sulok sa baba, and so on so forth. Kanang gamitin sa tao, kanang ma at stake na ang human lives. Dapat as much as possible, the level of significance is as small as 0.0000001%. Because again, that's putting the life of a person or human at risk. So that explains that 99.99% stuff. Very good. <laughs> That's correct. 99.99% would say you are confident that your research is effective 99.99%. The 0.001% there is your um, placing yourself to commit that percentage of error. The, uh, I would not know the ang um, your the When it comes to research, my good guys, research is like something that opens your mind. Banga in the long process of doing the research, tili kita ka ingon nga it's gonna be perfect. We always make sure banga we put something na masayop kita. In in reality, in in real life, guys, no. Very good. We are bound to have errors. Sa tuwang life, kaya bisag dili pa tama research guys. We are all we are not all perfect. Kaya bisag wana kang ay ka bright niya perfect niya tanan. Nagini mga lapses. No, human as we are, kanang we're not a perfect human being, ba yan? Unless kung guys kanang perfect na human being, guys for 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 sure kay pa umang ko nas ginoo, kanang sana anak nas ginoo, mao na sila. But kita dili man mga alipores sa manta so salary nanta no kabal kita nga makamit ng error. <laughs> so mahal ka nga asa ko na sayo manong nibuwag ka na ko Charo! <laughs> anyway let's continue <laughs> okay so here are the um guys these percentage guys are actually not used in medical field ha huh? this is like um in 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 research education uh what else in engineering research um what else economics politics social sciences so uh values can be 10% 5% and 1% or simply the desired area and the distribution and sir unsa may gamito na mo ani sir nga nga percentage guys if you're going to be a researcher pohon if you're going to be a researcher pohon it's up to you these percentages are actually up to the researcher it doesn't matter which one because this is going to be your subjective decision okay for example as i mentioned earlier if you're doing a research for something that it's going to be in take for intake into something that is going to be taken or kanang tomaron or it takes a person or human it has to be if you're to be a researcher your level of significance should be as small as possible because it has to undergo peer review man it has to undergo evaluation and if the evaluator would um see to it nganong dako kay kag level of significance and then you're doing a research that is for 
human uh, lives, you're putting the lives of human at risk and then dako ka level of significance. If you're to be a researcher, maglisu ka proof ana. Gets? Okay. So guys, and by the way, during our decision, during our um, hypothesis testing process, we are not going to like decide kung asa ani. I'm just gonna give this, for example, Test the hypothesis at level of significance is 0.05 to make it uniform. Okay? So, delete mo i allow nga mag decide ka mo kamura. Ato siyang iset ka. Nako siya ihatag daan. Para kay bawa mo asa pa dong. And of course, same as the answer value tanan. Kay kung laylahi, kapag check. Di ba? Sige. Um, it's already 11.52. Um, we're gonna talk about more of this next meeting na lang. And I'm gonna provide. I don't know if I'm going to give you an assignment. I'm just going to give you an assignment, guys. Okay? Um, definition, of, definition of terms and a little computations. Katong discuss na ko ganiha. Koha? Question so far. Yep, I'm going to post it in shallow, guys, the recording, of course. <laughs> we started at 11.45, no, 10.45 to be exact, because I was waiting for the people to get in, because I'm using a different platform for the online classes. Starting from now, guys, I'm going to be using Zoom. So I bought a premium account. Okay, I know I noticed, man, good when, when uh, I noticed sa ang mga basic calculus nga classes, uh, diba, I always do record the session when I do the discussion in Shello or in Bongo. The problem is there are recordings nga dili mo show sa kuang presentation. So there are recordings nga bisag gasuat ko sa whiteboard, guys. Even though I'm sharing my screen, the recording doesn't show the screen that I'm sharing. Is it true? Yes. Yes, yes. So I, I, actually, I actually brought that up to our admins at senior high school. I'm not just so sure if they, if they did act on it. They lang ako katubak, wala pa update. So for the meantime, I'm waiting for the result. I'm just using my own penny to buy a premium account for Zoom and um, to upload the recording. Okay, dilita ka ng kwan. Dili na to i-limit atong selves sa mga butang nga wala tay control. Adto sa mga butang nga natay control, no? Sige, but guys, just allow within the day for the video to be uploaded because again, it's not going to be ready right away kay si si si, si Zoom mag-convert pa siya right after the meeting. And end ko sa meeting, dili pa siya available right there and then mag-convert siya mga kadito don 10 to 15 minutes and then once the conversion is done, um, that's when I can upload the video. Na. And then it would take time again for the uploading process. So give it within the day lang. So questions so far? Wala ba kayo computation, guys? Guys, can hypothesis testing, no? Uh, just to give you a quick uh, idea. Less yang computation. The formula is already given. Ang imong problem is to understand the situation. Understand this, understand the problem. And I cannot do a multiple choice test adding a, adding a, adding a concept when you, do, when you do hypothesis testing. So, laban na gita aniha, just to give you an idea. It's already 11.55 p.m. and I, I think everyone is hungry because I'm I. Um, yeah, and the attendance guys will be checked so recording, ra. I mean, so report, so recording. Okay, now I'm going to access the report, the reports. All right, that's it. Thank you so much, guys. And you do take care. No more questions.
Buyers! I'm gonna stop sharing na ha. I mean, I'm gonna stop the meeting. I'm gonna leave the meeting na. And then automatic, ma end ang meeting. <laughs>